you and I both know that there was this super moon overnight. Super moon. Yes, whoa. and a lot of you guys knew that because you took some really good pictures, and we want to share that with you guys. Okay, so let's take a look at this first one. This one comes from Patria Sati in Bel Air Beach. I love this Ooh. look over the water. It's so creative. Also, this one from Michael Holland. He said that he took this one with his iPhone through wow. binoculars just before those clouds rolled in. Very creative. I think uh, Ricky, who's behind the camera, would appreciate that because he's really creative too. Cheryl Hyde took this one. This is her view that happened in Plant City. Love that. And Bill Toller of wow. South Tampa posted this one. This is a good one. It is not with cell phone video. He actually took this with his Canon camera, which is very, very good. Jonathan Cronin posted this photo and he says it's from town and country. So again, these are these are amazing. Really cool pictures. Yeah, yeah keep them coming. Ag Absolutely. So if you guys were able to take some pictures or some video, please just post it to our Facebook page, our Twitter page, and we can take a look at that for you guys. All right. So we've heard a lot of talk about the super moon. We've all seen the crazy pictures, yeah. but I've got to like put my science hat on and kind of talk about what's Going what's, into what's the science causing laboratory. It? Absolutely. So <laughs> step on over here to my super secret laboratory. Um, no, so basically what's going on with the super moon is it's a full moon that actually occurs at the point in the moon's orbit where it's closest to the Earth. It's what's known as perigee. That's why it appears so much bigger, so much brighter. In fact, it looks about 14% bigger to the naked eye and about 30% brighter. So it does make a big difference there. And our next supermoon is actually how we're going to be ringing in the new year. It comes up on January 1.